Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Hip hip today. So um, today we're doing the Stolen Throne Three Kingdom. And um, the reason that I bought this, pretty sure it's because of the name Three Kingdom. I love that time period in China where um, there was Three Kingdoms. And that's like the best part of like Chinese history where uh, everybody learn about uh, royalty, uh, uh, um, the manners, ethics, um, that kind of stuff. You know, it's a lot of thing in that story. Uh, if uh, um, if anybody who have ever played like Dynasty Warrior, Romance of Three Kingdom, that's the time frame I'm talking about. It's actually a good time frame. So I'm pretty sure this Three Kingdom has nothing to do with that. So it is what it is. Uh, I I did have this cigar in my humidor for a while. I haven't touched it for a while. And when I took it out, there was some damages. So I put some glue on it. You know, it, I, it could be when I bought it was like that. Or it could be, um, you know, set on the humidor too, too long and have some damages. But we'll find out. If it's leaking more, we'll just put more glue on it. Okay, so let's look at the cigar. The Stolen Throne Three Kingdoms Robusto wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Escuro, binder is Nicaraguan, filler is some Nicaraguan and some undisclosed. I don't know why you gotta be like kind of half ass on undisclosed, but okay. As you can see, there is a little damage. I had some apply some glued on it, so you know, hopefully it's smokable. It's just a little binder leak, I guess. I don't know uh, if it came like this or whatnot, but when I see it, it is five by 50 Robusto MSRP is $10. And this cigar is made technically by Roja Cigars. Yep, that, that Roja Cigar that you're thinking about. That's the company that makes this, so. Okay, so let's get started. Hmm. There's not much smell to it. All right. Very light cut, just in case. Draw is good. Okay. Tastes like an old. Musty, like bourbon barrel taste. Yeah. Give it a good burn. Give it every chance possible. Ten dollar. Come on. Should be easy. Okay. A lot of leather and earthiness.
and fruitiness. <clears throat> and like VA, not sweet. And pepper. It also is dry. It dries out your tongue. It's like that that great peel sensation. Uh, you know, it's like kind of like like when you drink wine, it dries you out. And ends on the top portion of my mouth is bitter, but everything else has a different kind of sweetness. And something else, I can't tell what it is. It's just some. Um, creaminess or something like that. That's weird for a Habano. It's not very spicy. It's, just, it's a little bit peppery, but it's not very spicy. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going one third. Be right back. All right. There we go. First there. It's kind of surprising because it's actually pretty good. Like, I don't like to say Loha cigars are good because I don't like the guy. But what the hell? This is actually pretty good. A lot of espresso, a lot of cocoa, a lot of creaminess, sweetness, pepper, and cinnamon. It's and woodsiness. It's not like the light up. The light up tastes so weird, but first tastes so good. It only took me like. I don't know, 10 minutes to smoke it. This is really good. Ooh. Well, it does dry you out a little bit. Yeah, three kingdom. Tastes pretty good. First stir, not bad at all. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed a little bit because that, that, that cocoa and espresso bean taste. It's just really nice. It's just really nice. All right, I'll be right back. Second, third. All right, second, third. The cigar is about medium strength. Um, it did change. Now it's more like a woodsiness, nutmeg, clove, dark coffee, espresso bean cocoa flavor, like creaminess. It's gone. It changed. It's nice. I like that. Surprisingly, because I like transitions. So this is a huge transition from a sweet espresso, cocoa, cream, and stuff like that into a woodsy tone, you know, nutmeg, clove, um, more like, you know, spice, woodsy tone stuff. More like a, like a, like a drink, like an alcohol or something like that. So it changed from coffee to something that you'll find, in a, I don't know, bourbon or something like that. So... Uh, it's it's nice. I like the way it changed. So we're into the last stir. Take a look at the band. That's the band. Now, I absolutely do not like this band, even though the color is pretty cool. It stands out because I don't I, I couldn't tell what cigar this was when I picked it up. I, I was like, oh, what 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 is this? What is this? But if you try really, really hard, <clears throat> you try really, really hard, you could just read that the center says, <coughs> wow, the Roman Romeo um, 3 and Kingdoms. So unless you know what you're looking for, you wouldn't know what this is. Like, I mean, Stolen Throne is in the, on the side. Like, I didn't even pay attention to that, but um, I didn't like the way this is portrayed. And I could not find the information about what three kingdom they're talking about. Um, obviously, I told I talked about how I like the Chinese history three kingdom, and I, I heavily recommend people to go read it. Maybe I put a picture of the book on here or something like that. Romance of Three Kingdom or something like that. But I heavily recommend it because that story is just complex and nice. It's about people and then whatever. Anyways, blaster. We'll be right back. Okay, 
last third, I'm like very close at the end. Um, it it transitions again to like a nutty coffee, some spice, woodsiness kind of uh, like cigar. It's actually really good. I can't complain about it. I want to, I just can't because it does taste good. You know, I've been giving so many good cigar reviews that people saying that I am, oh, what is that? People uh, say that I am softened on my taste, but the, the cigar tastes good. I, I don't want to lie about it. So yeah, now price. $13. I'm giving this cigar $13. Uh, because that it does taste really good. It's very enjoyable. Quick smoke. Um, construction's fine. Burning's fine. Even with all that damage on it, that doesn't bother at all. Tastes good. Tastes good. I'll continue to love this a little longer. So anyway, that will be it for the cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, check out our swag. Check out membership, check out podcast. I guess it's free. And um, yeah, I can recommend this cigar. Go find one. Taste it. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.